28. Death. 
Like he wanted it to happen. And you know, Peter had way more guts than the rest of the bunch. He came right out and said it. Of course you're not going to die. What a stupid thought. What will happen to all we've done? All we've accomplished? What will happen to, to us? But that's when Jesus started to get really strange. He started talking about Satan like he was here or something. I mean, he turned on Peter. Peter, his right-hand man. <clears throat> How safe could the rest of us be after that? I think that's when I began to realize things were turning sour. I mean, I never barked for this. This death talk. I followed Jesus because I could see that he was a winner. He could be something. Sure, he was a bit rough around the edge. You know, hung around with the wrong sets of people. His language needed a bit of culture. But that's to be expected from the riffraff of Galilee. But there was something there. I sensed it. My winner's instinct said, go for it. And this was it. Some talk about violent death in the end of it all. For no purpose. I wanted to get up there and yell, hey, get off Peter's case. He's right. Don't throw away all we worked for. But I didn't. Because then, I could suddenly see it. I had backed the wrong horse. I mean, how could I have been so stupid? Me, the man who always picks the winners. I mean, I had a future ahead of me. I was going places. Die? You could have been king, Jesus. You could have had everything. Don't you see that? You could have had whatever you asked from these people. What good were you to any of us dead? What kind of king is that? Where is this kingdom you're always talking about? In the grave? Twenty years from now, no one will remember your name. You know, some people say I sold them out. But I don't think so. He sold himself out. He knew where he was heading. I just saw the handwriting on the wall. The crowds were growing restless. You could feel the tension in the air. Buzzards circling overhead. And something had to give. And I saw no reason why I should come up empty-handed. Like any prudent person, I planned ahead. And when it came time, I could have just pointed him out to them. I didn't have to embrace him. Funny thing about a hug. You can't look over your own shoulder and do it. For those times it takes, you gotta trust the other person. He should have known it. But look, it wasn't just me. We had all betrayed him. Even the best of us denied him and ran into the night. But you see, that's where the similarity ends. Come morning, Peter found his way back to Jesus. Where, where is I? Continue to sit in the dark and rub the coins together. But my greatest sin was not my betrayal. No, for we have all turned traitor and run through them one time or another. My greatest sin was not finding my way back.
Instead, I sit here trying to rearrange my shattered conscience. Trying to figure out the price of one soul. My name is the same as yours. We should we bump into each other? 